so glitch, don't worry. Look what I found. Hello, Mountain Mom. How are you? Look at you blooming. You look marvelous. Hey. They're not like smooth, big rock. This one, like this is great. That's good for putting your foot on. Oop. That's good for putting your foot on. Nice big roundish rock. This one. But then you got all these pointy ones that are just trying to cut you in half. What are you trying to do? Trying to cut you in half. It's a hard day. Ooh, it's a hard day today. I'm just trying to take it easy on my feet. And not worry about where I end up. I'm gonna tent somewhere. There are several spots. I would love to stop at the first one, but there's no way I'm doing that because I'd have to go down the mountain north, 0.8 miles to water. That might not be water there, it probably is, but there's a further, so uh, I could go further down the mountain to a pretty definite source of water. But at the minimum, 0.8 down the mountain and then 0.8 back up the mountain to the campsite. So I am gonna go to at least the next one, if not the one after that. Um, but yes, my feet would like to stop at the first one. <sighs> but I am moving onward and listening to Stephen King as I walked to Maine and enjoying this beautiful day. I saw a deer. I saw a baby chipmunk. I mean, maybe adolescent chipmunk. Um, it was little and it was so cute. Uh, uh, it was like all around, it was like a butterfly crossed my path. And then I heard it and then saw the chipmunk and then um, saw deer crossing the trail and one um, stayed to the left just watching me before she crossed. And uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to be attentive to my whole body. Um, I'm asking my muscles to do more work so that we're not pounding the feet as hard. Not that I was pounding them, but being even more gentle on my feet, like I was a float driver. And I don't want the characters on the float to tumble. So I'm being very, very gentle. <laughs> But last night, it took a while, like, it was 11.5 miles, and I took my time yesterday. I enjoyed myself, I took my pack off a lot, I made silly videos, like, I had a good time. But then it got me into camp late, um, and I still had to go 300 steps down to get water, and 300 steps back up. And it's not like they're measured normal size staircase steps. They are stone steps of all different lengths and sizes and shapes. Um, and texture and wetness and slipperiness. So I didn't want to go back down again last night, but finding that chicken in the woods, like 0.1 mile before camp, awesome. And it was perfect quality. It was the best chicken I've ever had. Chicken of the woods, I mean, um, mushroom. I think at home I try to make it more complicated, but here what I had was one clove of garlic, salt, olive oil and butter. So um, it was fun to cook that way because I just held my pot over the flame, but like raised up and the butter and olive oil heated up real quick. Put in the sliced up mushrooms and garlic, sprinkled with salt, amazing. It was so good. Um, so that was a nice little gift last night after a very hard, long day, um, fun but my feet, it's just my feet hurt. So, um, trying to make the best of it. I get to see Tall Man in a few days. He's bringing me my gaiters that I should never have sent home with him. There is so much dirt in my shoes all the time. I feel like Princess and the Pea. And I have to sit down and get pieces of dirt out, but my foot is like, it feels it. It is the Princess and the Pea. Um, so, I'm gonna take it easy in my right knee, which is a little tender. And just wanna make it to a good campsite. I'm also worried 
I'll be tenting, so that means I have to dig a cat hole, which is fine. Um, I've heard that's hard to do in Rocksylvania, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. And I have my earth sack, so even though there may not be a decent tree around for a bear hang, which I could do, but not when these trees are all the branches start 50 feet up the tree. Like, I can't throw something over that. Um, so I have my earth sack. But I would like to eat my dinner away from my camp. You know, what's one thing when you're at the shelter and the food's in the bear box and you're with other people. But if you're all alone at a stealth campsite, um, yeah, I, I want no smells of food coming from my campsite. And so it'd be great if I could get somewhere early enough where I can cook a little bit ahead of it. But then I might get there if there's only room for three or four tents and there's already three or four tents, then what do I do? I guess I still camp on top of rocks. <laughs> I don't want it to. Oh, but I slept in the shelter last night and that was only the second time I slept in a shelter. There were just three of us and it was a really big shelter. Um, uh, Woodstock and pesto, possibly pancake, possibly, uh, what's that one? Headlamp. Um, <laughs> slept downstairs and Woodstock was upstairs and then, so he was the first one there and then I was second and then um, pesto came in late. So yeah, she shared her water with me this morning. I told her where to find that the rest of that chicken of the woods. Like, it's a nice little community out here. Um, that's nice. You know what, it helps. I should just hold this phone like this the whole way because at the moment my feet feel better. I'm just gonna keep talking to you. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So yeah, I was just having a down day and I just changed it around. I'm just talking about it. <sighs> Finding delight in <sighs> the good stuff. There's just good stuff everywhere. I know there's crappy stuff everywhere too. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> All right. Oh man, I love it when there's a few Steps of cush ground, like no rocks, just soft, loomy. Ah, oh, loomy. That's the best kind of trail. Okay, I'm gonna put you away in my pocket for now so I don't drop you again like I did yesterday. Potential hitchhiker. So, about 0.4 back or something, I can't remember. Um, maybe a little bit more, it was the first time I came to a seasonal spring that was dry. So far, everything's been wet. There's been enough rain um, that every seasonal spring has been flowing amazingly well, um, but not today. So I'm so glad I didn't decide, oh, I can only stop at this campsite and then I'm gonna move forward, go down to the spring and then to find out it's dry and have to come to the next one. This is the next one. And I didn't realize it was a side trail. I was really hoping that I'd be right here um, hopefully it's not a long side trail, but I need water, so I'm gonna go to the spring. Okay, the spring is flowing, as you could probably hear. It wasn't far down from the AT, and just a little ways down from my pack, there's actually level ground where I'm probably gonna tent tonight. I've done, I think, 8.7 miles, and there is a big incline that's the next thing, is going back up a mountain. And then there's tent sites along the ridge It'd be nice to kind of have the work done. It's three o'clock now and I'm, up my, I'm trying to be tender to my feet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up my water, I'm gonna camel up and I'm gonna think about it and look and really see what the train looks like and how far the tent sites are and decide whether I'm gonna do that to my feet or let them rest today and start at the incline in the morning when I have more energy. All right, I'm just so excited that there's so much water flowing. Um, there's no water sh shortage for the rest of today and the beginning of tomorrow. Um, that's great news. Yeah.
took my time and ate dinner. I probably was there an hour to an hour and 20 minutes um, and decided to move on because an incline is actually more comfortable on my feet than flat ground or downhills right now because I'm really using the front of my foot on an incline and taking the baby steps. Um, it's easier to be present and practice soft, soft, softly stepping. So, of course now I'm going downhill. <laughs> but it was a big incline and I think I'm 2.4 from an area that there is tenting. And if I can't tent there, there's one a little further down. So, a few more miles to go. Um, and that will give me a shorter hike tomorrow because I will be hiking from my stealth site in the morning to a shelter. I can't remember how many miles it is, but it'll be a couple less than it would have been. It was either take a really short day today or take a shorter day tomorrow. I went with that one. Um, I continue to look for sites though, just in case I needed to pull over. Uh, I have to tell you, I dug my first cat hole and Roxylvania does not make it easy for you to dig a proper cat hole. But I got as close as I could to a proper cat hole. Um, and I was way off trail in an area that nobody wants to get off. So hopefully all is good. Um, all right, two something miles to go. And then I will be out of this gap on the ridge. <coughs> a bug just flew in my throat. <laughs> oh, protein. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was already done with dinner. <laughs> I guess I wasn't. <laughs> All right. I'm going to climb. <laughs> Bye. All right. I've hung my our sack. I mean, it's very low to the ground. A bear could totally smash it and possibly rip it open. But I have done with the ursac as I am told to do with the ursac. It's far enough away from camp that you feel comfortable. And if all my food gets eaten, I can hike back down to the road tomorrow.